Welcome to the very first video I'm posting on my YouTube channel. I apologize that this isn't edited the way that most people do a traditional YouTube video. This is just going to be raw footage so that you can kind of see the city. I know somebody actually made a comment on one of the short videos that I posted saying I should credit the person that made this. So real quick, Credit is to Lego Creator. That's actually me. So if you're watching this video, make sure to subscribe for more uh, videos that I'll hopefully post in the future. Make sure to also like and comment on this as well. Let me know what you think, but I'll take you through a couple of the buildings. So here we have the start of the city. We actually have the townhouse that came with the bookshop. Here we have the second one where I mirrored them. So you'll see that when I get to the other side. Then what you can end up doing with a lot of your uh, buildings, if you wanna make your city look a little different, you can take some of the city uh, sets and actually take the first floor from them and just add a couple extra floors to it to make it into the modular designs. This is how you'll actually get a little bit different of a city than other people you know, cr that just put up the same creator expert modulars. Here we have the corner garage. And again, we lit that up. Over on this corner and this middle section, what we ended up doing was we took a lot of the corner, corner buildings. We have Brick Bank here, then obviously the Grand Emporium, which I'll get to that as well when I get to the other side. We have the Bookshop, which is the other half of the Blue Townhome. Then you have the Palace. This is actually one of my favorite builds that I actually have in here right now. And I love the way that it looks with the lighting. Over on the very edge, we put the brand new Sanctum that came out and we decided, hey, let's just make it a Marvel little corner. We also put the Daily Bugle with it as well. Then this is the detective office. And again, the lighting really is what makes these look a lot better. Then again, back to what I was saying with those city sets, you can take a city set and here you have just the half of the city coffee shop. And what you can end up doing again, just adding some extra floors and you can kind of turn it into your own modular building into your city. Then you have the pet shop, which is a half of a modular, uh, came with the brownstone townhome as well. Then I have the police station. And as you know, we're gonna talk about the police station here real quick on the other corner here. This is the Daily Press, and this again is taking the police station, and they have rebrickable designs where you can actually rebuild some of the modulars, so that's what I ended up doing with that one. Then I have another mirrored bookshop, and again, this is so that I have the two kind of back-to-back -back with each other, and again, back to the Grand Emporium. Now, as we come around to the main street here, what we ended up doing was I didn't want to have the road kind of you know have a t-section or an intersection so i found a rebrickable version of the assembly square which is the music store and i think that that really just makes it a real sharp design with the actual way the city looks here and again it changes it up that it's not just the modulars that you know were in the actual uh you know release of legos line then we have the diner this was one of the first buildings that I lit up and I just love again how this looks. This really started the uh, craze of getting the light kits, you know, for all the buildings here. I still have to do a couple of the rebrickables, but again, back to rebrickable. Here's the corner garage and I turned it into the pub that, you know, I found online as well. Then again, another custom building that I ended up doing here which was, uh, I, I ended up making, I have a hoagie shop in my area called Lee's. So again, this is a little, uh, you know, ode to that. And then I just put a couple apartments above it. Still have to light that one up. Next to it, we have the Parisian restaurant, which I think this might've been the uh, first modular that I ever purchased. And again, really started the, uh, you know, want of doing a Lego city. And that was after seeing the Lego movie. Then we have the assembly square, this is probably one of the best builds out of all the modulars. I don't know what your you know thoughts are on that, but I really think for the value of what you get out of this one, the techniques and everything, this is just an amazing build. And again, with the lighting, uh, it's just another look for it. So um, definitely would recommend this. And then this was the latest modular that came out, the Boutique Hotel. 
And again, finally just lit that up. I really love the look of it. And then, you know, what I ended up doing with my city was I converted everything to mills. So all mills is, is just basically taking a base plate and then you're gonna end up putting some plates on top. It's really gonna make it a sturdy board. You can kind of see it's not flimsy the way that it would end up being with, you know, just putting it on the base plate that they give you with the sets. What it also allows me to do, it allows me to interlock the roads that I end up getting with the Technic pins that I can end up changing all the dimensions here. You can see all the roads that I ended up doing. I converted it with the road plates, but I also ended up, you know, doing the mills, uh, you know, conversion with it as well so that it would connect to the rest of the city. It also makes it a lot better when you're trying to hide wires. So again, here's a little overview of the entire city. What I'll end up doing, you know, make sure to follow along and uh, what I'll end up doing, I'll post some more of the older sets that I have. I ended up having, you know, the loop coaster that I ended up just getting as well. Not that that's an older set, but, um, you know, I used to have an amusement park set up. I'm going to have to figure out a way to connect this back in where I have the uh, coaster, the Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round. Um, the Disney castle that I have. And again, this was that donut shop that I ended up modifying. This is what it really looks like from the city set. So again, that's the one that's lit up over there. You can kind of see the ring. Hogwarts castle, which we gotta, you know, figure out how to integrate all this again back into the city. But for now, it's just on a floating table. Then Dagon Alley. Can't really see it with the way the lighting is, so I apologize for that. And then here, just some display shelves. Again, just to let you know, it is my basement. I mean, there you go, obviously, my uh, Maxi Fig with the Le Lego Creator, that's my Sig Fig. And then again, what I'll end up doing, I might post some more videos, you know, on here, kind of show the older sets that I have. You can kind of see the Western theme, but you know, we'll do a quick little overview of, you know, what we have with the display. So again, just trying to let people know this is actually my basement. Again, follow along. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the Lego Creator channel. I'm going to start posting, you know, a little bit more on here. I do also have a page on TikTok and Instagram, so feel free to follow along with that as well. And again, thanks for tuning into the first video here. Hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if you change anything up in here. And uh, we'll again post some more stuff as well. Thanks for tuning in.